specifically they provide your body with essential nutrients, vitamins, minerals, calcium, you name it, which provide you energy. So you remain energetic. If you have the, if you have not uh, fed your body for more than four or five hours, you you don't have energy in, in, in your body. So eating frequent meals provides continuous energy to your body. Third is it helps maintain blood sugar, blood glucose, which and also your insulin levels. See, eating too much food at one time after having a gap of long, after having a long gap, what it does to you is that you eat a lot of food at one time, which triggers the response of blood glucose into your body. Your blood glucose rises, which which lets your which lets a lot of insulin to be secreted biological term so the maintenance the regulation and maintenance of blood sugar in the body is very very important and that is what eating frequent meals does to you it controls hunger cravings you can you can just implement on your uh, on your own if you have a meal say at uh, nine o'clock in the morning you have a you have your breakfast or you have not have your breakfast you have a lunch at 1 p.m. and then you have your uh, dinner at uh, say 6 or 7 p.m. You, you have not had anything in between your hunger will be so high that you will eat a lot of lot of food so eating frequent meals helps you have that hunger you know it controls your hunger craving now the when I talk about metabolism the metabolism is high what you need to have this in mindset is that when you are adopting to a healthy lifestyle of having small frequent meals you are also exercising having small frequent meals will help you maintain lean muscle it will may help you maintain lean muscle that is what is also responsible for having that will also aids in a high metabolism now when I talked about three, uh, then it also helps in losing weight, maintaining weight. Now, when I have three meals, uh, when, I, when I talk about having uh, frequent meals, how do you, how do you say, okay, what should I have in the breakfast? What should I have in the lunch? What should I have in the generally? You should have three meals, three meals in a day, and you should plan to have two to three snacks. That should be the that should be the idea. If you are exercising and properly, if you are also have eating healthy food, even in uh, three times a week, it's not that it won't do good to you. Having just three meals in a day will do good to you. But if you want to really, really, you know, want to you you want to really efficiently understand the process of losing weight and implement that efficiently. And you want to efficiently have, uh, you know, try maintain weight, and you want to efficiently live with good health. Efficiently means to a very large extent. Then you should have three meals, three normal meals, three normal meals, small meals, and supported by two or three snacks. So, like you have uh, breakfast in the morning at 8 p.m., you can have a snack at. 10:30 or 11 p.m. Then you can have your lunch at 1:30 or 2 p.m. Then you can have a snack at 4:30 or 5 p.m. Then you can have uh, your dinner at 8 or 8:30 p.m. And in the night also you can have a snack. So at least two snacks you should have in a day. So the idea is to have not to have too much of meals, too much of food at one time. So best is to have to to follow the eating pattern of five or six meals in a day. Five or six meals in a day. That is, you should have three main meals and supported by two to three snacks. Now, on weightlosscook.com, I have clearly, clearly demonstrated the videos of having healthy meals, the videos of having healthy snacks. So, I would again emphasize the process of having healthy, uh, of having small uh, frequent meals daily in your life try to adopt this in your life as an eating pattern and i have also explained to you what good it will do to your body
you have if you are trying to approach towards good health you want to uh, you know lose weight you want to get fit you want to you want to see your you want to um, gain some uh, lean muscle mass you want to maintain that you want to be fit you want to feel good then you have to have to adopt the eating pattern of having small frequent meals three main meals supported by two or three snacks i again i am uh, telling you go to weightlosscook.com and there i have demonstrated healthy meals and healthy snacks it is tried and tested not only me you will you will find n number of journals in on fitness in the weight loss and fitness circle emphasizing you to have small meals the idea the significance the reason i have already told you i have mentioned to you i am right sometimes i don't exercise for uh, one month or two months i have to go on i have to go on a client side what do i do is i i honor my eating pattern honoring my eating pattern of eating small frequent meals supported by two to three snacks yeah my lean muscle mass is maintained i live you know i enjoy my health i am happy i feel good i look good so adopting that i have already uh, in my last video i already told you where i define an ideal diet so your uh, three meals what it should comprise of i have mentioned that in my video in weightlosscook.com where i have explained the what you should have in your meals main meals then i have also explained the snacks it's up to you you have to choose you have to you have to discipline yourself but you have to change yourself change change for the good understand healthy eating pattern from having large huge meals to splitting them into small meals three meals and two snacks or three snacks you have to change for the good it's it is only ultimately you are going to benefit so eat feed your body to feel good to look good and to be healthy start adopting a healthy eating pattern of having small meals in a day